it's way too early for this. But we do have a pretty cool video for today, so go ahead and drop a montage of travel. We'll see you guys in just a second. We've made it with a really good friend of mine today, Trey Swindle, and we have made it to Chickamauga Lake. I've never been here before. Trey's been here a couple times, but we're super excited to get out and go lake fishing today. Um, we hope they're biting. We, have, we didn't get any waypoints. We've got some knowledge of how we've been catching them at Gunnersville. Big worms, big crankbaits, hair jigs. We got a dumb drop shot tied on, but uh, gonna go fish out deep. Probably gonna fish all day today. Really, really excited about it. Um, yeah, it's probably going to be a really cool episode. Hopefully going to be a really cool episode. The first part, we're going to kind of show what how we're breaking this place down. We've never fished it before. What we're looking for as far as like ditches and creek channel swings and different stuff that we're looking at. And again, we have no clue. We have no waypoints here. So it's going to be pretty exciting. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it. We're going to go ahead and hop in the boat and uh, get this thing going. So see you guys in just a second. <laughs> So we're out here on Chickamauga. Uh, I've got to buy a fishing license. Trey just bought his. He's rigging up a 10 XD. I've got most of my tackle already rigged up. But like I said, we've never been here before. I studied the uh, Lake Master app on my phone for just a, maybe a few minutes. So right now I'm gonna spend some time just looking through the map to kind of get a feel. We literally don't even know the names of the creeks on this place. I just know specific things that I'm gonna look for. I'm just gonna go across and like there's there's a ditch. So this is the main river and there's a little ditch right here that runs in. Things like that is what I'm gonna check today. Um, I'm probably gonna start on all the main lake ones and just go scan a bunch of them. So any ditches like that, that, this one right here, that one, that's what I'm gonna start scanning. And then after that, hopefully we'll figure something out. Um, and then after that, you'll look for a little bit more sneakier stuff. Maybe look in the backs of creeks at some of the same kind of things, like little points like that one. Uh, I'm just off the top of my head. I'm just looking through and talking out loud, but maybe this point here, um, just any little ditches like that. Any of these places, Harrison Bay. I remember Harrison Bay being talked about a bunch in the tournaments in the past. So Harrison Bay probably spend some time around here. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, like I said, I've never been here before, but Harrison Bay looks pretty fishy. Just because there's so much stuff, it's a really, really big, you know, it's the biggest, uh, it's the biggest thing down here. Like it's a gigantic creek, really, really wide at the mouth of it. Um, islands out in the middle. You can tell there's a lot of stuff going on. Plus it's in the bend of the river. There's gotta be some stuff around Harrison Bay. So I'll probably spend a lot of time there. You know, there's something back here, a little back ditch that runs off the creek channel, points, bars. We've got a lot of time in the day. We're probably gonna fish for uh, at least 10 hours. Probably gonna fish for probably 12 hours, honestly. We got some sandwiches. We got the Yeti backpack cooler slam full of uh, drinks, water, skaterades. So I'm gonna get all the cameras set up, get my fishing license purchased. The good thing is I'm, we are assuming that it's gonna fish a lot like Gunnersville, just because of the Tennessee River. First thing I noticed, the water color is pretty clear. Actually, I would say it is clear. Not like, not like clear water clear, but for the Tennessee River, it's, it's got the right, it's not money, I'll, I'll say that, it's not money. So get this stuff strapped up and head out to the lake. Definitely gonna be a big worm, probably be my go-to for this. Just, I think with a big worm when you're starting out, especially at a new place, because you can feel everything. And just the crankbait, um, I think is the most fun probably, but sometimes you lose your feel and you're just kind of crazy winding and it's good for catching fish because it's a reaction and you, it seems like, you know, for the most part you can catch a lot of fish in a row, but that worm, you get to feel everything, see if there's shells, see if it's mud, see if whatever it is. And so it's kind of good to start with that worm just so you get a mentally 
you get in the right place to fish the spot. So probably start with a worm a bunch on this stuff and then if they start biting it, catch a crankbait or throw a crankbait. I'm sure me and Trey are gonna go like a one-two punch kind of thing. Trey might throw a crankbait or a worm. I might throw the opposite or, you know, kind of break it down as you would in a team tournament just so you can quickly figure out what the deal is. But gonna get some stuff tied on. We'll see you guys out there in just a second. This is not a test. This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of- Giant school number two. On side imaging, possible for a second. Oh, we about to wreck right there. During the purge, all other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Oh, he's got it. Oh, no, he don't. Yeah, he does. Tubular. That's that 14. Tubular. Damn, how much light did I have that one? I'm gonna switch heads too, because this one isn't a three quarter, it's a five eighths. I'm trying to get that six eighths. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna uh, not leave the main lake anymore. Even even though it's uh, windy out here, I feel like this is where it's going down up. Every one of them came. Hey, can you get me a worm out? Green pumpkin, a black, and a June bug. That June bug's about to be the ticket. That's the one we got one pack of. Oh yeah, the three quarter feels way better. He told his co-angler, don't bring any rods. Pulls up, first spot, tell Oh, I got one. God, he missed it. Got it again. Tiny one. Fucked it. Missed, I got him again, you see my rod? Yep. I'm missing them. Dude, them jokers are deep. Yeah, they are. Tiny. Spotted bass. Or is that a smallmouth? Spot. I don't know what that is. Looks like, looks like a mixture. Look at his, look how deep they are. Look at his, uh, his insides are coming out. Oh my. Is that a smallmouth or a spot? Pretty. Pretty. I think it's a smallmouth. Because how brown it is. I mean, it's brown. Alright, guys, drop a comment below. Is this a spotted bass or a smallmouth? Or a mixture? <laughs> I've got no clue what that fish is. I mean, I'm going to say he's a smallmouth, but top half looks like a like a spot the bottom half looks like a smallmouth right. this is one of the deepest schools i've fished for Dude, like actual schools I mean, look where look where they're at i mean they're at least in 25 i know all right here's where i've been getting all them all them two bites i've been getting it's a ways down there i know that gotta know came off I, it's so far down there, my shit's stretching so much. You need like a seven foot, 50,000, damn, 50,000 extra, 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 extra heavy. Well, YouTubers, there's a lot of fish down here, but they're, we're not exactly sure. We, we saw them on side imaging, but they're at least in 25 foot. I, we feel like they're about deeper than that. It could be a 30 foot. It's so hard to feel. And there's rocks down here. We're by a bluff wall. You can feel the rocks every now and then, but even with a three quarter ounce head, you still don't feel much at all. I guess because it has to deal with being so deep, but 
got a few bites it's just hard as crap to hook them and they're hitting it hard you can feel them i mean crushing it but we just need to let them choke on it and then hook them or what mm. had to have to I know one thing when you swing you better give it all you freaking got super deep fish but it's fun they're just not big we left Gunnersville two pounders to come get chick two pounders <laughs> that, that chicken noise <laughs> I'm gonna give it a hop I got another one oh he smoked it They're so deep. I think I'm throwing too shallow here. Dude, they, they're like in 30-something foot, dude. This one's giving me the best fight so far. Hell, but they're whooped by the time they get to the surface. It's just like a dead dead body. Oh, my <laughs> dick. Oh, my giant. I'm going to go in the green pumpkin bag. Oh, I got one. This one's actually got a little bit of weight. I was about to say, that looked like it stopped. Just a little bit. We might have ourselves our first good one, Trey. Maybe not. He's better than my last one. I know that. Oh, yeah. Big and giant. Giant. That's a tub. That's a old. That's our lunker of the day so far. It is. I mean, we came here for 14 pounders. There's a two and a half maybe a three pounder i'm gonna say three because it's on gopro and i know that it looks bigger got him again oh, wow. got one I got one right now, Trebo. Collab! <laughs> tiny. I'm talking about tiny, tiny. Tiny Tim. <laughs> this is the smallest fish in Chickamauga. No, one you caught earlier was. That's old Margaret. <laughs> Margaret, we're looking for your mama. <laughs> we're looking for your mama, baby. I hope y'all are enjoying this show we're putting on because we've had a bite like 20 casts in a row and we're just rotating the same spot trey catch one i catch one trey set the hook i set the hook i miss one trey catches one my worm has been chewed up too like every square inch of this worm's chewed mom was too until that that big end so have <laughs> that big end the the secret to catching big ones for real when you're catching this many big ones do something different like we're doing just keep rotating yeah <laughs> keep, can't do the same thing no you can't do the same thing over and over you won't i mean you just keep you keep catching small ones oh did i just get a bite before you i think you might you might have broke the system no uh, no i think i hit one of them sharp rocks i mean this sucker ain't even got no skin left Spot? Yeah. Fat spot. Oh, big. big. Trifecta. Jump. Well, hopefully the uh, audio, hopefully the audio is not too blown out on this uh, video, but me and Trey, well, hold on, I'm gonna raise this box up to block some of the wind. Me and Trey just found a school that is, as y'all can see, really, really deep. Um, and I hope y'all can tell on the GoPro that how we're rotating the spot is hilarious because the way the wind's blowing and the, the kind of the angle of the boat and the spot, we can't both stay on the front and cast straight to them. So like one guy's got to throw and then kind of scoot down and set the hook and the next guy throws. But we're catching on pretty much every cast or at least getting a bite every cast. So it's making it a lot of fun. So we've 
maybe have got something figured out. And yeah, I'm gonna keep dragging that worm around. One thing I will say, today we've seen kind of it matter, but Trey was throwing a green pumpkin and normally I don't really think color matters that much, but Trey was throwing green pumpkin, was not getting bit. And I was throwing June bug and was catching them. Actually, he started out throwing red bug, caught a couple, but when he switched worms, he put on green pumpkin instead of putting red bug back on. I was catching him on June bug. He was not catching him on green pumpkin. The first cast when he switched back to a red bug, started getting bit again. So that extra little green flash in there, I think. Oh, Trey's bagged up right now. Lunker? It might be better. Oh yeah. Not a bad one. Not a bad one. These fish are so deep, and we've we've also caught um, we've also caught a largemouth, smallmouth, and a spot off this one hole. So that's kind of fun. Never done that before. Only a few times that you get to catch all three, but especially out of the same school. That doesn't happen very often at all. So anyhow, back to the action. Hope you guys enjoy it. Please give this video a thumbs up if, you, if you're liking the content. If you're not liking the content, you probably should not be watching this YouTube channel because this is as good as it gets, honestly. Other than the fact that they're not giants, but you can't not like this. So give the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Back to the action. She gone. What a spot, dude. This is cool. This is cool. <laughs> If y'all understand how, like, if you could understand how long our bait's dropping, you would automatically go subscribe to the channel immediately just because of that. Yeah, I don't matter how many tournaments Jacob Wheeler's won, he ain't dialed in like this. Nope. That was my first rotation in a minute without getting a bite. I will say I've never worked a spot like this before. No. I wouldn't even bite it. What if these are all five pounders? I wouldn't. Oh, he got it real deep. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Mine is getting chewed. My red bug was. I, I'm feeling a few rocks. Like oh, I know. I didn't throw out way near far enough. I got one of them right now. came off they gonna see this football jig and they look like that's a damn snack right there that's the first cast I made with football jig all year really? I ain't done one all year mmm fish I had like a mile worth of slack out. Too. Hey, that might be the biggest one of the day. Oh, lunker, baby. Oh, lunker. Oh. Oh, yeah, that's the big of the day. Well, that wraps up an awesome day at Lake Chickamauga. I know a lot of you were probably wondering why did we leave biting fish at Gunnersville to come drive two hours and spend however much money in gas and food to come fish a different lake when they're biting really, really good at Gunnersville. And the answer is we've never been here before. They're biting good here, we thought, and they were. We had a really good time. If I had to do it again tomorrow, I would definitely do it. It was worth it. Um, you know, the fish are biting good at home. But to come to a new lake, new challenges, completely new water, spend a lot of time on the graphs. Y'all didn't see, we scanned everything. You can't tell, and you might not even be able to tell in the videos today, but it, the wind literally blew probably 15 all day, but like 25 probably a lot of the day. Just super windy, and I think for the conditions that we were faced with and never being here before, I mean, I think it was a really good 
really good day. Uh, really quickly, I want to show you what we caught all our fish on. Um, every single fish I caught on, let me think. Probably every fish on the video came on this right here. It's three quarter ounce stand up head. You can see this is brand new today. I actually, I actually broke one off this morning too after we've been catching some, but look at all the teeth marks on it. I don't know if that is focused in or not, but there's freaking teeth marks all over this thing. And you can see how mangled that worm is. It's a Zoom Magnum trick worm, June bug color. That was what, like however many fish we caught, that was what the majority of them came on. I caught one on this jerky jank. By the way, this new Accurist S3 rod, it's a 7.4 heavy, but it's more like a 7.4 medium heavy. So for this swim bait, I also threw a paddle tail swim bait on it today. Uh, super good rod for that. And then I caught one fish on this three quarter ounce uh, peanut butter and jelly football jig uh, with a spicy beaver trailer. And I think that's the only thing we caught fish on. Trey threw the exact same setup on the uh, Stand up head, magnum stand up head, and he was throwing red bug. I was throwing June bug. Didn't really matter. We both got a ton of bites. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you didn't, you're crazy because that was a ton of fun. Um, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Damn brown. If I would have stuck him, he would have been really. I wish he would. You would have stuck him. In the, you know how they let go of it or rip it out. I wish he would land on top of that guy. All of that guy over there. Like, <laughs> Landing that little boat over there. Your turn if you want. You, you can keep fishing. I thought it was a freaking big. I did too. You knew he's gonna be over there too. I knew it was. From that tree to this corner, I thought he's about to get. God. Gag that sucker. We took a little break from deep fishing. Come to a frog. We found saw a little pocket. A little. A cute little sunfish color. I gave Trey a chance to get this rod. Now if an eight comes up, I'm gonna have to change my mind. <laughs>